So the dust settling after Newcastle United's uh, 2-1 defeat at Liverpool and yeah, a night that promised so, so much, you know, from even the first sort of few minutes of the game, you, you had a good feeling about Newcastle and uh, when Isaac scored that goal as well, to put them 1-0 up, you just felt Newcastle deserved it, they were in full control, could have, you know, pushed on and got another one, but they went in at the break looking really organised uh, and I just thought Newcastle you know, were destined to, to get something at least out of the game, at least a point. Um, even going up to the hour mark, uh, Liverpool still hadn't had a, a shot on target. Uh, Nick Pope had barely been tested. But then, you know, the same old story unfolds at Anfield and, you know, Liverpool get back in it. But, you know, even then, Newcastle were look threatening on the break young Anderson come on and you know gone into the box a couple of times he offered something and in front of the cop and yeah you know Liverpool was certainly rattled they were that's the most rattled I've seen Liverpool I have to I have to say even at half time when the substitutes were warming up in the Liverpool half the old school Wimbledon style um just to to get up the nose of the opposition there was so much going on in the game and then Obviously, the, the battles between the two benches, which we we all love to see, the passion of it. Um, but yeah, then, you know, the final minute, the final minute of stoppage time. The stoppage time is something that, you know, will, the debate will rage on for the next few days. You know, five minutes goes up on the board. The game's still going on after five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes. Then Liverpool score. And then, you know, the game restarts and pretty much Andre Marina blows the whistle and, and that that's the end of the game. So the, I, I don't think the referee done a very good job with the timekeeping, but whatever you say about that, you've still got to defend the corner. You've still got to play the whistle. You've still got to defend the situation and, and Newcastle sadly they just didn't do it. And uh, for, on a night where they look so streetwise, they just switched off at the in the last few throws of the game. And that was the unfortunate part for me. But... Look, I think they've competed with Man City, they've competed with Liverpool. There's a lot of tidying you know, up to be done, but Newcastle are getting there step by step. And I think when the dust settles, you'll look back on a good performance with good moments. And let's not forget that Isaac second goal, which probably should have stood if you look at the offside call on it. Probably the wrong one. The linesman kept his flag down originally. Had that gone to 2-0, who knows? But Newcastle will leave here um, feeling disappointed but they shouldn't be too down because there's another game against Crystal Palace to come